Hey, this is Mike. I'm here at Conway Ford in Conway, South Carolina, and they're allowing me to show you this 2015 F-150 XL. This is a two-wheel drive truck with the 3.5 liter V6. It's pretty much a basic, pretty basic truck. Um, some will consider it, you know, a work truck. It does have the vinyl seats, vinyl floor, stuff like that. But even at the XL pretty basic trim level, there's some stuff on here that I was really surprised uh, that you will find on a, on a truck of this price and uh, trim level. So, so let's check it out. You can see it does have the F-150 stance. Even though it's a two-wheel drive, it still has a pretty good stance and a really attractive look. F-150s are one of the best looking trucks on the market. And so this one has the 17 inch steel wheels that are painted silver. This is an all aluminum body with a fully boxed frame, steel frame. So the, the frame is actually steel, the body panels uh, are all aluminum. So you do have the box frame in there, and this uh, helps with the rigidity and, and keeps the, the, the truck from twisting too much because you, you want your articulation to happen in the suspension system and not in the frame. So with the fully boxed frame, it uh, really helps out with that. And the aluminum panels, outer panels, help with the strength, but also the how how much lighter the truck is so it makes the truck lighter so it can handle uh, a little bit more towing and payload capacity the payload capacity is right under 2,000 pounds and the towing capacity is 7600 roughly um, that's from what I can tell on the Ford website on this particular model now your dealer would have to put in your VIN number and give you you know more accurate figures than that and that may be accurate I'll I just, I just don't, don't want to people to rely on that information because there's a lot of different variables in these trucks. All right, so here in the front, you'll find the halogen reflector headlights, and it has the all-black grill with the black bumper. And one of the things that really stood out to me is that this truck has active grill shutters. So in here. See, there's a system when I lift the hood I'll show you there's a system that actually closes they're like little little um, just like shutters they close up and they close the air from going through the engine so at highway speeds there's all this air going through that radiator system that's hitting the radiator it's hitting the engine block it's hitting all this non aerodynamic stuff throughout the engine all the time so the active drill uh, grill shutters will close up that part so the air flows around the vehicle instead of through that front uh, only when it doesn't need the extra cooling when it needs the extra cooling it'll open right back up and in that way it can cool right off but at highway speeds typically you're getting enough airflow uh, to where you can they, they will stay shut automatically so that's a really neat feature I uh, usually see that in the high higher higher trim level packages and even then you still don't see them All right, so let's take a look on this side. It does have the manual lock and unlock handle. Just a regular key, manual windows, manual door locks, all that stuff. You do have some storage pockets. Now you have like a gray and black two-tone interior, but everything's easy. It's not soft to the touch, but it is easy to clean, and it's um, you know very durable surfaces. You have a place to put like a cell phone there, water bottle, and then some storage space. See, it has all the vinyl vinyl floors. Now the vinyl seats are surprisingly nice. I mean, they're not they don't they look a little bit nicer than the average vinyl seat. They look kind of like at first glance you can think they're leather seats because they're textured. They have stitching, and they just uh, they just look like a really high quality vinyl seat. So behind here, we do have your tools and stuff and and a um, little bit of storage space behind the seat there's a little funnel there that little white thing is a funnel which I'll show you what that's for in a second alrighty 
And I'm not sure, just want to point this out, I'm not sure these, these hooks here, usually people use these hooks for putting clo hanging clothes on and stuff like that, uniforms. But what's interesting is when you hang them there, they, they block the back glass. So I was kind of interested in that, on why they do that. But maybe there's a reason you can tell me. And then over here, you can see if you have plenty of leg room, have a little place here to put some stuff as a lip to keep it little lip there for keeping up from like pens and stuff from rolling out glove compartment is a pretty good size it does have like a little shelf in there as well and you have the handle to get in and out you could put steps on it if you wanted to I'll put a link to the window sticker so you can see all the all the details there So here's the back of the truck and the towing package is here but also you do have the, the plug, the wiring already set up um, with the four way and seven way plugs there and you also have this for your uh, spare tire underneath the truck. It's a lock to keep people from stealing it which is a good idea. Now this is a flex fuel vehicle. You're able to use up to 85% ethanol in the gas if you need to. This is a locking tailgate, but it is manually locking, so you have to use the key right here to lock and unlock the tailgate. And it is very light. Since Ford went with the, the aluminum stuff, uh, aluminum body, the tailgate is considerably lighter. It feels easy to, uh, to lift up and close. Now, some of them are assisted, but this one's not. And you can see what the bed looks like before you actually put a liner in it, which I highly recommend. You do have some some tie downs there on the corners heavy duty tie downs and it's a place to put some more there but spray in bed liner at least a plastic one to protect the truck if you're going to use the bed which this is the type of truck you'd want to use it's not a a baby truck so here's the remember I mentioned that funnel earlier and this is the reason why it has the funnel this is a capitalist fuel design you put gas in it just take your nozzle, put it in there, put your gas in, and you're good to go. Now it gives you this little, uh, this little information thing here, letting you know that if you need to use a gas can, you have to use the funnel because it has to go in a certain distance uh, past that part there. You can't just put the gas can there and just pour it in because it, it just won't go in the tank. So um, you do have to use that funnel to use a gas can only. But just regular putting gas in it at a gas station, no problem. You just put it in there. Take a look underneath it. All right, so let's pop the hood. Take a look at the 3.5 liter V6. way of 
of saving gas because uh, aerodynamics is a big thing. When you're driving on the highway, you know, 60 miles an hour, you're creating a lot of drag through the air. You're, you're trying to, uh, I mean, the air is basically a fluid. So you're trying to rush through that fluid, which creates a lot of pressure on the front of the vehicle. And then there's this huge wake of air behind you that's all turbulent. So, uh, so basically you want the air to flow around you as much as possible and not uh, try to get caught up in all these little obstacles here. So the active drill, sh drill shutters allows that air to, to go around the vehicle versus try to go through it at the high speeds. All right, let's take a look at the inside. All right, so here's the inside of the driver's door. You can see it's pretty much a mirror of the other side right down to the controls. Uh, the manual window and door lock and all that. Uh, nothing really special as far as features um, on the driver's side. And you have the manual adjustments on the, on the seats here. Now you'll notice it does have the cup holder and an armrest here. And um, so this is, a, this is a pretty comfortable way of traveling. You got your arm you know, propped up there and you know as long as you don't have a the need for a center passenger you're good right here is your light your um, headlight controls there's no automatic feature it's just off that's that's your um, your parking lights and then there's your headlights very standard there now you do have a dimmer switch uh, this is for your uh, interior lighting to make it brighter or darker Right here and then on this side is your cargo light so at the back of the cab right here at the top which is on now because I had the door open uh, this light at nighttime will illuminate this entire bed so you can turn that on if you want to uh, using that button right here just below that you'll find an electric parking brake so that's something that you don't normally see on a base model vehicle that's usually a uh, something in a, you know higher end vehicles uh, with the electric parking brake and I like the way it says pull on so you know which way to you know you pull it out and it cinches down the parking brake to release it you just push it in all right here we are behind the wheel Can you see I got plenty of leg room, plenty of knee room. And the steering wheel is very durable looking and feeling. It has like a polypropylene tough stuff plastic right here. And then you have a kind of a softer, um, cushy, but very durable and grippy uh, material around the steering wheel. There's no leather or anything. It is a, you know, synthetic, all synthetic steering wheel but it does it's very functional in that you know it's comfortable it has a good thickness it has the bolsters here for you know a good grip and uh, it's not too busy with a bunch of buttons it does have some buttons here which we'll go into but overall I think as far as just a real basic truck this is ideal uh, if your hands if you got gloves on if you've got you know maybe dirty hands or something you're working you can you know use this truck without worrying about you know any messing anything up as well as easily cleaning it you know it's a uh, you know it's all non-porous surfaces so you can you know wipe it right down and have this truck clean in no time now it is a tilt and telescoping uh, steering wheel so once you unlock it there you can tilt it but you can also pull it out and in so that's another feature the telescoping feature is not something you see on a lot of trucks uh, basis you know basic truck trucks like this so that's a pretty cool uh, additional feature there so these buttons on the steering wheel they correspond with um, right there in the center of the gauges you'll see a little menu system but let's look at the gauges real fast you have the, uh, the RPMs there to the left and then on the right the uh, the speedometer and at the top you have the oil pressure on the far left next is your engine coolant temperature then you have the gas gauge, which since this is Conway Ford, they're pretty much always low on gas. Which of course they'll fill it up for you if you buy it. But uh, sitting on the lot, they seem to all have low, you know, low gas. And then the far right, you see that's another temperature gauge. Now that one is for the transmission temperature. Um, 
so you can really uh, you know keep an eye on those temperatures which it is a very important especially if you're towing uh, that your uh, transmission temperature doesn't go too high um, you know like in real hot environments and you're towing and you're really doing some heavy-duty stuff uh, you really don't want to keep driving if your transmission gets too hot same thing with your engine of course but a lot of people don't think about the transmission as well that that needs um, that needs to be focused on too okay so that center little menu system um, I'm just gonna kind of scroll down it's a very pretty simple uh, you got your tire pressure you can go into there uh, you can change it to um, you know pounds or kilograms that kind of stuff you can change your language uh, your temperature you can change that to Fahrenheit or Celsius so that's like this display setup so let me go back and then you go up to here to vehicle uh, distance to empty calculation or life reset you can do you know different stuff like that and then um, so here's your main menu and then you can go to a driver assistance uh, this is your engine hours your tire pressure right here shows your tire pressure on each side on all your tires uh, engine hours will tell you how many hours the engine's been running and uh, and trailer sway control uh, this is something that's you know pretty handy when you're pulling a trailer if your trailer starts swaying it will use the um, the front brakes to alternate the front brakes to avoid that uh, mitigate that swaying so you could turn that on and off if you want to there so basically you have some you know pretty good amount of information in here and it's a little bit customizable as far as you know whether you're in Canada or United States that kind of stuff and then fuel economy uh, you can get like an average or you can get a real-time distance to empty that kind of stuff and then you've got your trip one and trip two now let's go into the trip because um, you have the average miles per hour as well as your miles which is pretty handy so you can you know do your calculations if you want to so that little screen there you know it comes in handy for access and information that you may not always need but as you know you can get to it if you need to and also of course if your tire pressure is low it's going to alert you anyway you don't have to constantly focus on those numbers it will pop up and let, let you know if, if uh, you have a low tire or something like that all right here to the left is your um, you have your window windshield wiper control there as well as your you know your high low, high and low beams and here's your shifter for the six-speed transmission and it's a column shifter and you can see it has a tow and haul button but also if you push it twice it's a it's a kind of like a sport mode which emphasizes the uh, you know performance uh, as much power as you as this truck will do uh, typically it's focused on fuel economy but when you put it in a, into a smart a sport mode which will alert you there on the dash that you're in sport mode it kind of let it focuses on the performance instead of the fuel economy it's basically uh, the basics of it so basically um, you know you do have the ability to just put it down and drive like that like so and also if you need a downshift you can continue down to three two and one so that way if you really need to downshift going down a hill and use of engine braking you do have the ability to do that all right, here's a place to put some quarters, it looks like, for maybe tolls or whatever. Turn the fan down a little bit. It's kind of a warm day. So right here on the dash, we've got a quick access pocket. I'm not really sure what that's for. Maybe a clipboard, paper, or something that's not going to be affected by high heat because the you know, dashboard gets pretty hot. So maybe you can tell me what you know, people use that for. You do have a traction control system which you can turn off. Default is on. Now this will keep your, you know, keep your tires from slipping and, and spinning. So if you're stuck in the mud or snow or something, you need to spin tires, you can go ahead and turn that off if you need to right there. Default will be on. Four-way flashers are right here. So here's your radio. It's a real basic um, radio. It's uh, it's not a touch screen or anything like that, but um, you know, it does have the ability to you have control the buttons to control the different menu systems are here and then you've got buttons around there so you know you can go into your radio you can change the stations tune through the stations with this button here and it kind of gives you like a kind of a retro uh, dial as you're turning it 
and media is basically uh, it does have a line in auxiliary input right here where you can plug in a you know portable device and play music through there and then of course you can change the treble bass and uh, mids it's kind of like an equalizer type system you can set your clock there uh, your menu system this is where you go into your audio settings clock settings display settings and you know change it the way you want your presets are there to the right so let me get back out of that so there's your volume control and there's your tune through the stations pretty traditional left and right uh, system there uh, you also have these buttons to go through like stations or um, pre like this will go through your presets and then this will actually go through um, you know skip through tracks and stuff like that uh, especially if you have your auxiliary input plugged in um, you can I think you can skip through tracks on that as well all right so down here we've got the climate control and you can see you got your fan speed your temperature on that side is a single zone so everybody has to have the right the same temperature and um, you know where you want the air to blow so I, right now I have the air blowing down on my feet and also at the top vents uh, I can also if I wanted to I can put the the uh, the defroster on as well it does have the recirculation button which will recirculate the inside air um, so that also keeps not only does it keep cooling the same air so you get colder air but also it keeps outside air from coming in so like say if there's a odor outside you're you know passing by a farm or something that stinks or a truck passes you and it's bellowing out smoke you can push that and it keeps that air from coming in on you while you're driving so it's a little bit of an extra a little bit something that people may not think of so down here you've got a 12 volt power supply like a cigarette lighter style under that you've got like a little storage pocket I guess put a cell phone or something like that like so you also have a little one right here which is way too small for a cell phone on this side you have another power supply so there's two and here's your cup holders and your armrest now this whole thing will lift up you also have a little little shallow pocket there that's a good I guess that's a good place for a cell phone if it could fit in there and you can put a fit cell phone in here but um, so basically if you need a center passenger or if you just don't want to have the armrest down you can lift this whole thing up and it snaps in place back here and you lower it pushing this button on the side it's a little bit tricky lowering it um, when you're driving so you want to um, kind of practice it before you uh, try to lower you know raising it's fine but lowering it while you're driving is a little bit tricky now the center seat uh, also lifts up so you could have some pretty good amount of storage space under here of course you can't access it if somebody's sitting in it but um, you know you do have the ability to put stuff in there and then you have these cup holders and these are kind of extra because um, you can take them out and you can turn them this way so that way they're out of the way so like if you have a center passenger their feet may need to go there so uh, the cup holder will be in the way so you know some extra cup holders that you can turn around and you can put them in place when you need them um, you know, but only when you need them all right so the rear view mirror is basically you know the regular flippy style that you would see um, you know traditionally see uh, for day and night mode you do have some interior lighting a little tiny light there um, I'm not sure how how much it illuminates in here when you at night time uh, but it looks pretty bright it looks kind of small but it looks bright at the same time and on this side you can make it to where when the doors open the lights do not turn on if you want to do that and there's the visors um, they will slide out as you can see in this picture they'll slide out and in uh, so you can get that right spot and this side actually has a mirror so that's cool all right there you have it 2015 Ford F-150 XL kind of a basic regular cab truck very affordable a lot of capability it's comfortable it's a pretty good truck all around especially you know if you just want to use it as a work truck you don't need or you just don't want a lot of bells and whistles I think it's a good option especially you know some of the trucks get up there in price so if you're on a budget this might be the uh, truck for you 
So anyways, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of the XL, that XL trim level, whether it be, you know, the regular cab or the crew cab, stuff like that. Um, just let me know if that's something that you, that, that kind of truck interests you, and I'll do some more XL uh, trim level trucks um, with, you know, different cabs and stuff. But anyways, thanks for watching. Please like my video, share them with everybody as much as possible, and it really helps me out. And thank you to Conway Ford for allowing me to show off this awesome truck, and I'll see you next time.